Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, one and all, to a brand new edition of the Quinn Spin. I'm your host, the Quinn. At least it's how I'm known here on the program. And I'm back here on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and more for another rousing and riveting installment of the official podcast of Underground Music Collective. And you just heard Revel 9's All I Become at the top of the show. That's been our opening theme song here at the Quinn Spin since the great year of 2014, and it will be until the very end of days. And you'll notice these gentlemen joining me are part of our OG Quinn Spin family, because this is an OG Quinn Spin family episode. We have Mr. Scotty Rock and Mr. JD joining us here today on the program, and I'm very excited to have them. Gentlemen, how are we doing? I am fabulous. I would like to point out the bougie chairs you're sitting on. You're moving That's up in the world. The announcer voice. Yes. Is that why you did it? No, I that was just oh. completely, you know, me just pulling that out of my rump. Gotcha. Gotcha. Quinn's well, the chairs. Bougie. Quinn's bougie. Yeah, I mean, say Quinn's at, bougie. Look at me, and I'm biblical. I mean, yes, yes. Uh, JD is one with the Lord tonight. Um, you know. <laughs> For those of you not watching, he has a giant cross I'm one with the Lord over him on the wall, and some holy beams beaming down on him. Um, yeah, it's it's very yes. I am I am currently at I'm currently at my aunt and uncle's house in Ohio, sitting in my bedroom or laying down in my bedroom. I'm in my bed. Hmm. So we we get seductive JD returning to the show tonight. Maybe we could do uh, confessions. Feel very... Confessions with JD. <laughs> I don't That'd feel be kind of very... Sorry. Uh, I don't know about all that. No, no. Well, well, I mean, the last time you recorded from that very spot, you were, uh, you know, you gave us that whole seductive intro. Hey, now. That was the only other episode still to this. I did. Somebody else has given the hey, now, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. There has never been another episode where somebody is hey now. That's the only one. You're the only other person ever hey now oh. to start the show. And that dates, back to Moravian. that dates back to Moravian. That dates back to Moravian. That dates back to pre Quinn Spin Moravian, as a matter of fact. I, I don't even remember this episode um, that you're that you're speaking of. So my old age is really. Unless I wasn't there for that episode, but I don't remember. You, it was recorded at your house. You should remember it. I don't. Remember? remember the <laughs> well, whole was I there? The, the whole <laughs> thing was predicated on the fact that we needed to be quiet because the pebbles were sleeping. Right? right. And then so JD's like, oh, I can give a quiet hey now. And then he was like, hey now. <laughs> yeah, now I kind of do. Thank you. Yeah. See, I just needed that. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, good old reminder. Uh, I, Grandpa needed a reminder. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I remember now. It's okay, Grandpa. Let's get you to bed anyway. <laughs> that's that's why I had to. That's why I had to ask if we could do this an hour early. You know, yes, my, you did my, ask if we my could sleep. Record, you did ask if we could record an hour early. Yeah, I really. I just need to get to sleep and like, you know, I'm, I got to work tomorrow. I got to go to work in the morning. Um, it's late for me. It is. Don't worry, gents. You'll hit it. It's even a, it's even an hour earlier for Quinn. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know. It's just like, you know, prime prime time for me right now. Well, not really. <laughs> I I am you say we'll hit it. I think I already have, because I have no desire to be out past ten o'clock anymore. Like absolutely none. Like zero. Like oh, oh, people are going out. Okay. People can go out. I'm not going. <laughs> like, when I asked you to do an hour early, though, did you like a little bit be like, oh, I really don't want to. I have stuff to do. Like, did I inconvenience you at all? I mean, I always have stuff to do. So anytime anybody asks me to do anything, that's generally my reaction. <laughs> You're always inconvenienced. Yeah, I'm pretty much always inconvenienced at this point. So don't don't feel like, you know, don't feel okay. like it's a unique thing to you. But I mean, short answer, yes, but it's not a big deal. No, I didn't feel that way because I I still asked. <laughs> yeah, you did. And that's I, the I feel I feel like there are certain people he doesn't mind being inconvenienced by, and I would imagine Scotty Rock, you are one of those people he doesn't mind oh. being inconvenienced by. Well, thank you. I'm making assumptions. I could be dead wrong. I mean, 
<laughs> I mean, it, it was nice of you also to ask days in advance of recording instead of just asking this morning when I already had the day planned. You know, that, that actually that, that huh. earns you additional points. So. I'm a thoughtful guy like that. What can I say? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. So how You're are you doing, guys? What's, what's, what's new? What's shaking? Well, let me tell you one thing that really sucks is having your air conditioning die. Ooh. Um, Did you just buy that? I got, Ooh. I got a story for you. Okay. So it's actually been out for about two weeks now. Um, here in the tri-state area about Eesh. two weeks ago, we had a really hot day. And of course, that was the day that the air decided, you know, to die. And yes, we did just buy the house in October. Mm -hmm. And so far, since we bought the house, we had to replace the water heater, the refrigerator, um, something else. I don't remember, but now it's the air conditioner. So air conditioner dies. We have no air. Call the uh, company that services the oil, uh, you know, all that stuff for our heat. They also service the air, air conditioner. Guy comes over. Yeah, pretty much the entire unit outside and inside is shot. It's going to be about nine grand to replace. Okay, summer's coming. That sucks. I guess we're going to have to, you know, stock up on fans and, you know, all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So my neighbor tells me that he has a family member that is in the AC business and to give him a call, maybe it could help you out. Call him. He says, oh, it might just be the fan. You might actually be lucky. You know, the company that comes to uh, to service the the, you know, the. Uh, the whole place, they tend to try to sell you, you know, new units when it's not necessarily what you need. So they come over. This this other guy comes over and he did indeed confirm that the unit is dead and will cost about eight to nine grand to replace. So I very nicely said thank you but no thank you mm -hmm. and i got a call two days after from the same guy saying you are in luck i'm taking a unit out of a client's house yes i just did a voice crack um i'm taking a unit out of my uh, another client's house they're upgrading their system and it's exactly what you need and i will give it to you for fifteen hundred dollars no wow. cost yeah. for anything else so they were supposed to come on Friday. Mm -hmm. Guess who didn't show up on Friday? The guy. Uh, the guy. And uh, now they're supposed to be coming tomorrow. And all I can say is I'm praying that they actually do come because it's uh, supposed to be in the 90s on Wednesday. Ooh. And we have the dog who's home by himself all day. And this house is hot as balls at night. And fans are not cutting it. So if you have air conditioning consider yourselves very lucky because some of us don't and we're hot and sweaty yeah my my ac in my car went last summer and i was driving around here nude a lot not nude but like you know semi-nude tasteful i am mm, uh, artfully nude i am also hot and sweaty right now hence the towel around my neck but it's for a different reason why is that Ooh. you ever you ever done something to uh basically i did a whole lot of nothing i'm about to explain how <laughs> i went on a walk before we recorded this and on the walk i went to mcdonald's so i basically canceled out all the calories i burned on the walk <laughs> by eating mcdonald's <laughs> so, you replaced them <laughs> that's I did, great uh, i was do i was doing i was doing it for a bit a comedy bit Okay. This story is getting weirder and weirder, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Go on. I'm intrigued. Um, okay. Yeah. I might, I might as well just. I might as well just disclose it. Um, I did. I did this for a joke. Um, I have a friend that lives in in Minnesota, um, and they are a very very big Minnesota Timberwolves fan. Mm -hmm. Those basketball uh, basketball fans out there, and they are about to play a game seven against the Denver Nuggets, the reigning NBA champs. That starts in about five minutes. And I had, a couple days ago, I had said to them that um, basically the Wolves were going to make a Nugget sandwich. And the reason I said a Nugget sandwich is the way that this series has gone. Uh, um, it's a seven 
seven game series. Whoever wins four games wins the series. The Wolves won the first two games. So that's the first bun. Mm-hmm. The Nuggets won the next three games. So that's the meat. Your, your meat. Yep. And then the game six. So now the Wolves are going to win game seven tonight, hopefully, and make a nugget sandwich. So for the bit, I walked to this McDonald's, bought a cheeseburger and a four piece nugget. I didn't realize you could get four piece nuggets, saving some calories instead of getting a six piece. And I recorded a video of me putting three of the nuggets inside the cheeseburger and then I ate it. And I did this to manifest the win for my friend. So, um, you know what? I'm calling her out. Nicole, you are welcome that I did this. The commitment, walking to a McDonald's and making a nugget sandwich and eating. <laughs> so hopefully your uh, sacrifice was not made in vain. But even if it was, you know what can help? My you. sacrifice. Yeah, thank you. I was hoping somebody would do that. But, you know, even if it is in vain and the uh, end up winning, I, uh, you know what you could do to then burn off those calories that you just regained after your walk? The Quinquake. Coach McQuakes can come. He can work with you and, uh, you know, whip you into shape in time for summer. I heard he doesn't come to Ohio. Uh, Coach McQuakes will go anywhere. He's gone to New York. He's uh, here in Tennessee a lot. I'm pretty sure. Oh, he won't go to Delaware. That's never mind. Well, I mean, who would? Where'd Scotty go? I don't know. Scotty disappeared. Where'd Scotty go? Scotty, you here? I don't show up for Quinn Quake talk. Oh, oh, no, because you're afraid of Coach McQuakes. Fair. That's fair. Yeah. I don't That's know why. Yes. I'm very afraid of you. I, it's not me. It's Coach McQuakes. It's very, it's very much you. You are Coach McQuakes. I don't know how many times we have to go over this, guys. I am not Coach McQuakes. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know how many times you have to keep denying it. As many as it takes to, uh, I mean, not clear my name because, you know, I wish I was Coach McQuakes, but. Why don't you tell Father JD, this is confession time. I'm not confessing anything because I have nothing yeah. to confess. Hold on. <laughs> yes, my son. Yes, my son. <laughs> I have a confession to make, actually. I do. I do, have a to make. do you like how I just like pan my laptop yes. over to the cross? <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> This is if you need to watch, if there's an episode, actually, you should honestly, if you have the ability to everybody, if you have the watch. ability to watch these, to watch these on YouTube, please do it. Cause we, we do some subtle nods, visual, visual nods that I think you would get the full experience of, which I'm also going to plug Quinn's YouTube by doing that, yes. which is Quinn. The underground music collective YouTube. Channel. Hell yeah. And you can also watch these episodes on Spotify. Well, I, I guess I don't oh. have to make any confessions uh, since, you know, we moved past that. But you know what? I will anyway. It's time to come clean. No. Time to oh. Come clean. JD. Ready? Is it time? Is it wait, time? Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Quinn spin. Confessions. Coach McQuakes is my uncle. <laughs> yeah. Coach, I, we're related. That's why we look alike, but I'm not him. He's not me. Can you be re- are you technically related to yourself? I mean, I don't know the answer to that question. All I know is that I'm related to Coach McQuakes, who is not me. <sighs> Here I thought we were going to get something, you, you know, a you, certain, what, isn't, a certain... that, isn't that a joyous revelation? Like, I just went on 23andMe last week and found out. Coach McQuakes is my long-lost uncle, it turns out. That's why he was so just, dedicated to shaking up my fitness a few years back. I just, I, I, I know, I know, I just know that it's a lie. No, I feel it in my loins. You're feeling, you're feeling it in your loins. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make sure my camera's much further away from the cross after saying that word. <laughs> but a little, just get a little further away after that. It's almost yeah, like a, it's almost like a, 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 oh, no, a dial. How close? How... Yeah. How holy guys, guys, you could dial it back to the cross when you're feeling holy and you could dial it away when things uh, take a turn as they usually do on the show. <laughs> you guys want to play a quick game? Sure. Oh yeah. No, well, we're, I'm okay. Okay. Do you recognize this voice? Hey guys. Is that How y'all doing? 
Is that L the first? Uh, there's, there's, there's been a rare L sighting. That's L. Yes, it, it, she's, gonna she's not. She's oh, not. I thought you. She's, I thought you just not it. screen oh, ready. No, I was going to say like, is she going to give us more she's, than okay? You know, people to no. That's yeah. it. She just wants to say hi. People are I demanding it. Was it. Just, you got to come back. Yeah. Well, I thought I mean, it was just an. I thought it was just an audio file. No, no, it's the real deal. She's she's here. So why does she live in the flesh? Clearer and better than you. Maybe you are ill. <laughs> I put the That's microphone true. right up. That's not like yeah, I'm out. Uh, yeah, yes. if, if I'm, coach I'll admit McQuakes. that I'm L If you're Coach McQuakes. yeah, right. Well, I mean, I'm not Coach McQuakes, and that's that's just as ridiculous as you being L. We know well, L. we've met L. Let me tell you, I've got an inappropriate word for you. Oh, do you? <laughs> Go on. Yes. No, can't say it in public. It's that inappropriate. Oh wow! All right. Well. I mean, the good news is our annual uh, visit to the dog pound, which I think this is like the third or fourth new dog pound uh, mm-hmm. is coming up. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yes, we'll, we'll probably see L then. Uh, yeah, you might. You might. Uh, speaking of the dog pound and old school recordings, I went to the Nyack Street Fair today. Oh, yeah. For the first time in uh, God years, probably since we last went. Yeah, it was a while. And it brought back all kinds of memories. Walk past our old house. It either must be abandoned or just the grass is literally up to like my waist. I took a picture of it. It's mm. disgusting and really sad. Um, you should start a yeah. to save it. We should. Save we should. the original dog pound. Save the original dog pound. Please donate. For dog yeah, I don't know if I don't know if nobody lives there. I don't know. It, it was disgusting though. Mm. Well, that's not a happy update. No, sorry, sorry, yeah. but we're in a, yeah. you know, a, a much better dog pound now with no air conditioning. So yeah, you know, we're moving on up. Sweating like a dog. That's hey. right. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. All right. Well, good to good to see you both here, and we have plenty to get to today. So why don't we start then with the grand tradition since the OG days? Mister Rock, are you ready? I'm ready. JD, are you ready? Um, that's my answer. I'm going to take that as a yes. It kind of broke yep. up, so I mean, I'm assuming you're it's, ready. It is. I yes. Also, yes. Sorry, those at home. My internet is dog shit. More dog references. <laughs> People of the internet, are you ready <laughs> for some stupid news with Scotty Rock? Thank you. Thank you. So I was going between two for this evening's uh, show. Um, I decided to go with this one because I, I thought it was it was a good one. The first one, though, however, was about a guy who got five women pregnant and held a joint uh, uh, baby shower for all five of them. Um, it's actually not stupid. It's very efficient. No, it, it was stupid. The actual article is not as good as the headline. The headline oh. was. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So um, the one I chose is. The from the New York Post, good old New York Post. Mm. And the headline reads, I'm lucky to be alive after mm. sustaining car crash injuries, tripping over my cat. OK, Are we ready. Well, yes, please. This man suffered catastrophic. Cat- catastrophic. Let me try that again. Injuries. A UK man miraculously survived after sustaining a broke broken neck, fractured spine, smashed ribs, blood in his lungs, and other, quote, car crash evoking injuries from, wait for it, tripping over his cat. I can't remember much, just falling fast. It was quick and it was over within seconds. Then I was at the bottom, said victim Chris Rowley, 59 years old. The freak apocalypse meow accident reportedly occurred, um... Back in October, while the like, oh, this was from the UK, by the way, by the while the Leicester based professional musician was home with his hairless Egyptian Sphinx kitten. Disaster struck after the wrinkly kitten, apparently feeling playful, dove out and latched on to one of one of its owner's legs while he was coming down the stairs. It took a bit out of my it took a bite out of my leg and I lost my footing who reportedly tumbled down 14 stairs before arriving at the bottom where he lay unable to move when his feline put the hell in hello kitty. 
The massively injured man didn't realize the extent of his injuries at the time. However, paramedics later revealed that he'd suffered a fractured skull, a broken bone in his neck, two fractures in his spine, nine broken ribs, and each rib had multiple fractures. And then he had a bit of blood in his lungs as well. Meanwhile, he was uh, he was meanwhile completely unharmed which makes no sense unfortunately his wife jackie a children's care worker was working the night shift and was unable to come to his aid as a result he had to lie unattended for 14 hours in a pool of his own blood his phone was dead he couldn't get up he couldn't move at all it's the hardest sensation it's almost like claustrophobia you can't get out you can't physically go anywhere by the way that's the uh no, you can't see can't it. See I'll it. show you after I take my screen off. Uh, but the cat is not cute at all. Uh, it wasn't until... Yes, pretty much. Yeah, Mr. Burger. It wasn't until the next morning that the immobile vocalist wife arrived, discovering her husband's spread eagle at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, she normally got home at 8.30 a.m., but that day she got held back and didn't get home until 10 a.m. She opened the door and heard him screaming. And she saw the blood. He was saying, oh, you're home. Help me. Help me. By this time, he had dragged himself onto the landing of the stairs. Jackie, his wife, then dialed emergency services, who arrived within minutes, um, whereupon she quickly left the room as she couldn't stand her partner screaming. Uh, yeah, they had to drug him up heavily to move him. And uh, he is OK now. But yeah, he fell down 14 flights of stairs and uh, suffered some pretty serious injuries 14 which, flights of stairs or just 14 stairs oh 14, 14 stairs just 14 kidding flights like... i listen i just wanted to make sure you're paying attention to the article uh, okay. So, I, okay thank I you for say, proving that you were yeah 14 I mean, stairs i was gonna say he got off easy if it was 14 flights well we're glad he yeah, yeah no he got yes, yes. up and yes it, he did you know i have to say like um you know freak accident i don't know how stupid that is in, a, in and of itself However, the cat puns in this article were incredibly stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and that All right, alone, so I got an A for the cat puns. Uh, well, I think you know, I'll I'll give this one a B plus. I'll give this one a B plus. Uh, was, All right. Because I don't think he was that stupid. I think it was more of a freak thing, but the cat puns were atrocious, and that definitely raises your grade. All right. All right. All right. I'll I'll, okay. I'll take a B plus. I'll take a B plus. We have. We have we have two people judging us, however, and I have thoughts. I have yeah, more thoughts much, now. That's what I, I, have, I have more thoughts. Yeah. That's uh, that's that's after seeing the picture of that cat. Make sure you watch the video. Of this now I see now I don't, I'm not a cat person. I'm a dog person, and I think cats are malicious. And I'm convinced that that cat knew exactly what he was doing. And was not being playful. He was being a little asshole. That's what I think. Because like that's what cats do. And intentionally yeeted him down the stairs? Yeah. Yeah. He was pissed nope, about nope. something. No, no yeet. No yeet. No yeet. He didn't yeet? No yeet. No yeet. No yeet. Yeah, I, I, I um, think cats cats are assholes. That's what I think. But anyway, JD. Okay, so, a, yeah, JD. Yeah, here we go. So, I have thoughts. Um... One, I don't, there's a disconnect in my brain. Maybe I'm just dumb between the car and the stairs. And I Wait, don't understand. Car? Wasn't there a car in this story? No. Or am, I in, am I in space? Well, maybe she got out of her car to find him. The wife got home the next morning and found him laying on the floor. There was no car. Not that I remember. At least <laughs> maybe I'm losing it. Except for the one that she got. Out. I, did did right. I have a stroke? Did I have a stroke? <laughs> you might have. Am I, I hearing, remember am I hearing things? <laughs> okay, well, that's that's not going to have any. Okay, never mind. That's not going to have any bearing on on my grade at this point. Um, but I am going to read through all, the article real quick just to make sure I'm not losing my mind. <laughs> uh, second of all. I hate cat puns, so that's going to be a demerit on my grade. Oh, the cat puns uh, take away from your grade. Yeah, come on, apocalypse meow. That was great. Yeah that that was the that was the worst offender. Um, so with all that being said, I give what 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 what, what grade did you give it, Quinn? A B plus. B plus, yeah, B plus. Okay, this is getting this is getting a stout a stout B minus. 
So we averaged a B. This was we averaged a B. This was a B level stupid news. All it's right, still a B. Listen, I was on a pretty damn good roll. I had to, I had to drop. I mean, sooner or later. I mean, oh, this is this is still still good, just yeah. not the best. Yeah, still good. No, it's not your best, but it's still good. Well, thank you, Scotty, for some pretty good stupid news. Pretty good. Stupid. Maybe next time it'll you know be a little subpar. Better. I'll, be, I'll be do better. The par would be C minus. No, no, no. Exactly. No, it was still above average. Yeah, C is average. C is par. B I know, but I, but but I have a but I'm on such a roll. I've had a plus 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 for the past what five shows. I mean, I don't remember giving you three pluses, but you've been. Well, you never gave me a grade. I don't no, know. that was it. Wasn't a. It was. It was. I, I would have been giving you like. B minuses, A B pluses, A minuses. All right, all right. So I pass. I'm a very strict. I'm a very strict grader. You're never getting an A plus from me because perfection oh. doesn't exist. Okay. Except the Lord. Except the Lord. Okay. I'll remember that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so it was pretty good. Like you, you birdied, but you didn't eagle, and it certainly okay. wasn't a hole in one. Okay. And I hate golf, so for me to use a golf analogy, you know, like it's pretty damn. Yeah, I hate golf. I mm. hate golf. I don't like playing. Yeah, I'm not a fan either. I am terrible. I'm not a fan. And don't it's worry, very I big in, golf. in. Don't worry, my I family. Go ahead. Don't worry, I play golf and I hate it too. Yeah, I just I I've tried it a few because times. I suck. I am terrible, and I tend to just you know, annoy other people around me with how terrible I am. So I just don't do it. You know, golf is a very like, you know, you have to keep the action moving kind of game. And when it's taking you 20 strokes to finish a hole, it's, uh, it's not the game for you. It's not the game for you. So, that's, that's a lot. I don't have the patience for golf. I am just, tell old. us your lowest score in the comments. My, my lowest score. See, I don't even know. Like, I'm pretty sure I got like a 180 on like a nine hole course once. It was very bad. Very I play bad. miniature golf. Yeah, mini golf. I'll, I'll, my... I'll smoke y'all in mini golf. Yeah, no, that's a lie. I, I, I tend to disagree. I, I will smoke you. So we need to settle this. All right. When Down. Uh, is there a golf course in Hershey? I don't know. Is there? Well, Ooh. let's find out. We Chocolate play. themed mini golf. I'm sure there is. There has to I'm be. sure there is. Well, let me tell you, it's on I like Donkey Kong. I haven't been to Hershey Park since I was like five or six, but I'm sure there is. And we're going to find it. And, all right. we're, and I'm going to beat you. And, and I, no, no. Buying me all the refreshments at the Creed show. Mm, I'm, 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 I'm Googling right now. Miniature golf. In Hershey, mm, mm. bring that voice crack too. Shh, shh, don't, don't. Yeah. Hershey Lodge Mini Golf Adventure Sports in Hershey mm -hmm. Challenge Family Fun. So, oh, there's plenty. So, so we need we're, to make a we're wager. good. We need to make a wager. Okay. The the winner, well, the loser has to um buy the other. Buy the winner's refreshments uh, at the concert. Oh, let's high five. Oh, there we go. Mm. All the right. Loser Deal. Has to buy the winner's refreshments at the concert. And Deal. I will be the winner. Okay. We'll see about that. Because I don't want to spend any more money than I already will. Me neither. So, <laughs> all right. This is good. I like this. I'll, I'll have oh just capered the weekend before, so I will definitely will do everything I can to win that competition. Okay, no cheating, though. Anything I can, even if I have to call <laughs> Coach McQuakes to golf in my absence. Okay, Uncle Coach. Uncle Coach McQuakes, yeah. Uncle, Uncle Quake. Uncle, Uncle Quakes. All right, well, I'm going to call Drunk Uncle Lewis, so we can Uncle. both have our uncle. <laughs> Coach McQuakes versus Drunk Uncle Lewis. <laughs> I think I that's think that's the undercard. I think we should arrange that. Yeah. Actually, I think we definitely that's the should undercard. arrange. Yeah, that. mm, some kind of battle between the two of them. All right, we'll we'll figure that out. But in the meantime, you and I are going to battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're going to the... the content for the gram. 
Well, yeah. We have to. I mean, why would we not? This is, yeah. I mean, what are we doing this for us? Right. No, we're just doing it for the <laughs> likes and shares. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All hey, right, guess well. what I bought with me? Well, what'd you bring? That getting what? to know you thing. Oh, we're back. We're back. We oh. got it again. Oh, boy. Yes, oh, yes. Boy. I, 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 I'm also in the midst of writing the theme song, so maybe yes. next show it'll be it'll be ready. Yeah, you showed us the lyrics to that, and it is coming. I'm working on it quite yeah. nicely. Yeah, so I have a nice melody. Forgot it already, but it'll come back to me. So you got some questions for us. I, I do. I have some random getting to know you questions. Um, <clears throat> instead of having different questions for each of you, I would like both of you to answer the same question. Is that just because you don't have enough questions for both of us? No, I have enough questions, but I didn't really like, I, I kind of handpicked them last time for each of you. Mm -hmm. And this was something I decided to do last second. So well, yeah. you're going to get the last, God. the thank same God. questions. We decided to do this to, because the segment that we tried to do that got edited <laughs> out just sucked. And I thought we weren't talking about that. No. Well, as, as, after this, we won't speak of it again, but it, okay. was, it was my idea. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> uh, it was a rare miss for this show because you always get quality from the Quinspin. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not getting it, which means we're, we're giving you quality. Yeah, we're giving you quality in the form of the getting to know you thing, making its return. So, yes. JD, are you guys I ready? Went first the last yeah. time. So, should I go first this time? Or do sure, you are you volunteering? Yeah, sure. I'll, okay. I'll go first. All right, you ready? I am. Hmm. What? Yes. Which snacks are your must-haves for a road trip? Well, first of all, I'm all the snack I need. <laughs> But if you're asking me about things I would eat, um, usually, and so usually what I'll bring with me, because I do have, I do drive to the Northeast at least a couple times right. a year. I'll usually bring some bananas. I'll usually bring some of them there, granola bars. Uh, what see. flavor? Um, I'll usually get like a peanut butter, you know, some kind of peanut butter pretzel or something. They got really good ones at Kroger. Um, yeah, and then I'll make sure, you know what else I'll bring? So I don't have to keep buying bottles of water. I'll just bring a big old gallon jug of water and just sip from mm. it the entire way up. Just, you know, as I'm driving, just sipping, sipping, sipping this jug of water. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much. And then from there, you know, I just, you know, make my usual stops along the road. I always stop at Sheets, the first Sheets in Virginia and Bristol and get uh, some tacos from Sheets. And, and, and Bucky's, no? Well, yeah, usually I'll stop at Bucky's. Um, the Beaver's Magical Palace because uh, it is the best place to dump a smash on the interstate, and um, mm. so yeah, and they have the cheapest gas on the interstate as well. Jeez. Two for one, uh, you know, I get to um, you know, leave some logs to build the dam, and then uh, gas up and go. You don't get any treats. I heard that's a treat haven. Uh, it is a treat haven, and actually, they do have these like giant cinnamon buns the size of my head. And don't tell Coco oh. Quakes this, but I do like to indulge in some sweets once in a while. What are those? Bu I, I for some reason I've been getting a lot of Bucky's tours. People like going in and touring on my YouTube feed. I don't know why. I probably watched it like once, and now it's like taking over my feed. What are those like balls? Those that they sell the Bucky's Beaver. Nuts? They're like yes. What are those? I don't know. I've never had them, but I've heard. Oh, of them. I think you should buy a bag and bring them bring up them, this way. Bring them, like bring them to when I see like, you a few weeks. Yeah, later. yeah. Like, aren't they like air airtight? No, I think they're like some kind of cheese curds or something. Oh, never mind. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're like prepared, like in the deep. Oh, place. I thought they were like a bag of like chips. Like, I don't know. Okay. I've never got them, but I think, unless I'm thinking of something else, somebody suggested I get the beaver nuggets and I think that's they are puffed corn. That's been, t no, they're, they're not puffed corn. That's been tossed in brown sugar. It's like kettle corn, but puffier. Oh, oh, the most I think. Yeah. They're in a bag. Some kind of like deep fried cheese thing. And I thought those were, that was the beaver nuggets, but I'm mistaken. No, no, no. Oh, they actually sell them on Amazon. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, Bucky's beaver, beaver nuggets. All beaver right. Nuggets, anyway, beaver nuggets as my special snack. All right. Anyway, there you go. That's my answer. JD, JD, your go to road trip snacks. So, um, 
I don't usually eat anything in the car while we're on the road. I will just generally stop once for like lunch and then maybe once or twice to fill up and then get a snack. But my go-to snack that I almost always get on the road, because for some reason they're only in convenience stores. Um, it's Gardetto's. Um, I forget what, I forget the name of it that they call it. It's like custom order. They call it like Gardetto's custom order and it's rye chips. You ever had rye chips in Chex Mix? Oh yeah. No. yeah. Oh yes. Those are my yes. absolute favorites. The brown it's ones. Just those are my those? absolute favorite. It's just the rye chips. Mm. Yeah. It's like Gardetto's special order. And never, and it's just a small heard. bag of all of only rye chips. And it's amazing. Mm. I mean, I get that almost any time I'm on the road. I've never seen or heard of that. Well, I'm going to be looking now, which actually that just reminds me. I was on the road, uh, coming to Ohio. I didn't get them way back. I got to get them now. Interesting. Really good. Get them good answer. Matt, uh, so excited. At a, uh, you, you sat up. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, no, I love rye chips. I love rye chips. I'm also sweating. I'm sweating. Come to my house. I'm, you have no idea what sweating is. I'll sweat. I'll sweat. I'll sweat more. Yes, you will. All right. Are we ready for our next question? I sure am. All right, Quinn, this Indeed. is for you. What is your most valuable possession? Ooh, it's a good question. He has to think about it. Oh, man. Um, oh, that is tough. Um, I mean, there are so many, I mean, artifacts of different eras of life, right? I mean, I still have the 12-channel mixer that Big Daddy Dell secured for us back in the day. Uh, I would put that on the short list. I don't know that I could pick one. But that, you know, is very... All right, give me give me top three. Okay, all right. Well, that's one. That's one because it's the first one that came to mind. I okay. also have a special place in my heart for my 2004 Westmore Central State Championship ring for, fo- for football. Nice. That was, uh, you know, that was my first love before I was the Quinn that you know and love. And before I even knew Coach McQuakes. And certainly before I knew Coach McQuakes is my uncle. Um, there was football. Football was the thing that, you know, drove me. So that's important, you know. So it kind of sounds like, you know, there are three things you put in a time capsule. Um, so it's that. It is the um, the 12-channel mixer. And, hmm, you know, there's this um, – yeah, here, here, here it is. The, something I would say from a fire for sure is my mom at that same game had fashioned herself a headband with like antennas with footballs at the end of them with my number 12 on them. Uh, we call them her antlers. And I st- I have those actually. I made nice. sure that I grabbed those from my parents' house and they're actually with me here in Nashville. And I would, yeah, I would definitely save those from a fire. Uh, they are like, there's really nothing to them. It's a little, literally a plastic headband with some springs coming out of it. She put little foam footballs on the end. <laughs> And some like gold streamers, but that uh you know that helps you know keep that connection to you know not only her but to that period of my life. Nice, good answer. What about a MBD training zone business card? They still oh. text me trying to get me to come back. I told them to stop. I told them to stop. They won't. JD, man, this is a hard one. I've you been, can do a th- top I've, three if you'd like. Also, racking my. Well, that's the thing. I can't. Keep, I can't even come up with one. Because, like, uh, I don't really. Um, man. Would you like another question? Yes. Okay. Give me a second. I would like to. I don't really. I'm not. I'm not a very materialistic person. So like, I don't really hold things that I own in like high regard. I would consider them. All right, I got one for you. It's more so. 
Okay. What is your what is your go to board game? I mean, it's <laughs> would you like to go back to the possession? I can never play it because <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's my favorite game. Uh, it's my favorite board game, but I can never play it because everyone around me absolutely hates it. But I love it. And what is it's it? The one the it's the one the only the most popular one out there. It's Monopoly. But my family love Monopoly. absolutely hates playing it, so I never get to play it. But I love it. I do too. I, I, I do too. I absolutely, and I've studied the strategy of it, so I can beat all of you in it because I know the strategy. I'm not going to challenge you like I'm challenged Quinn before. Yeah, no, I, I know it. the strategy. I I studied it. I studied the game theory of it. I know how to play the game. There was also another fun fact when I was younger, and this is probably number two. Number two is Clue. Um. When I was studying how to play Clue, what do you, where are these balloons coming from? Hello? That what was I, weird. That's did you see that? Exclusive. Did that's you see video, that? Yeah, I sure did. That's a video exclusive. <laughs> the, Zoom, the Zoom just decided to load balloons behind me. It was the weirdest thing. Anyway, Clue is my second favorite board game. Um, and it's actually pretty close. But when I was studying how to play Clue uh, um, and practicing it, if you play the game optimally, you can win on turn three or turn four. If you get a bit unlucky, you win on turn four. But you're guaranteed to win on turn three or turn four if you play it optimally. Hmm. No matter what. Interesting. So, so, so I learned how to do that. And a for, for a period of time, I've, I've forgotten how to do it. I, I don't remember. This is something that I learned when, like years ago, like over a decade ago. I don't remember how to do it. I can probably look it up. Mm -hmm. um, but just like if, if you want to learn, just Google how to win Clue in three turns or something like that. It's it's a broken game. It's it's a broken game. Uh, um, play it optimally because you don't play it frequently enough and it's just a casual game. But like... There are no, there's no like clue world championship because the game's broken to the point where you, it just, it's not a game anymore when everybody's playing it optimally. It's just whoever goes first wins. I have stories with, and I'm a giant nerd. I, I have stories with both of these games and this can count as one of my questions if you want. Um, so Go clue, ahead. the last time I played clue, it was, it was, my mom was still around because it was against her and my sister and my mom got mad at me because I wouldn't let her win. Um, and I figured out how to, how to win pretty quickly. I don't think I did it in three turns, but you know, definitely, you know, quick, more quickly than I thought I would. I found clue to be very easy. Um, Monopoly when I was eight. So when I was little, I always, for some reason, and green's not even my favorite color, but I always had this thing about having to buy all the green spaces. Like those are mine. Don't touch them. Well, Somebody bought a green space and it, my, you know, my cousin was watching us, uh, you know, and, you know, it was me, her, my brother and my sister. Me, I feel like one or two other people might have been there. I don't know. But I got so I was eight. I got so mad that somebody else bought one of the green spaces that I flipped the board and ran upstairs and locked them all in the basement. <laughs> I got in a lot of trouble for that. You oh locked God. them in the basement. That's I locked amazing. Them in the basement. I locked them in the basement. Yep. Awesome. Mm hmm. Yep. And my cousin Yvonne would always remind me of that too. She'd always uh, <laughs> And how old were you? Basement. What's uh, I was eight. I was eight. Yeah. Even better. Yeah, but but she was like, Don't lock me in the basement again. <laughs> I know what happens when you get upset. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you flip the monopoly board too. That's I, I did. Oh, I did. If That's I can't great. have green spaces, nobody can have the green That's spaces. That's great. So if you ever play Monopoly against me, watch out. Nice. All right, I got two more for each of you. Ooh. And another voice crack. And another voice crack. Okay. Probably two more of those, too. Yeah. Probably three or four, actually. Yeah. Um, if you could only watch one movie for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh. Oh. I'm between two. I know the answer is not Space Cases because that's not a movie. Until <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> All right, give me two. Two movies. The rest of your life, you got to have two. Okay. Like, uh, I mean, these are just the most important comedies of my youth. Um, the 40 year old virgin and wedding crashers. 
Each movie has heart and wit in its own way. You know, like, I feel like... I, I feel like 40-Year-Old Virgin informed my sense of humor better, but I feel like Wedding Crashers is the more complete movie, if that makes sense. Not to knock 40-Year-Old Virgin, because it is the finest piece of cinema that I've ever experienced. However, I f- just which just completely counteracts what I just said, but I feel like Wedding <laughs> Crashers, as far as like the story arc, the character <laughs> development, the character development for multiple characters is really, really well done. You know, 40 year old virgin, you know, relied more on the slapstick elements. Right. So I, it's like it's like picking your favorite child. I can't pick between those two, but those are my two favorites. Honorable mention of Space Cases, just season one watched in succession as though it's a movie. JD. Mine is slam dunk. This is the choice. I don't have to think about it. The Matrix. The first one. The first one. I like that answer. That's I could watch that over and over and over and over again. Good movie. I think mine. Paul Blart Mall Cop? No, no, that's a close second. Um, no, I would probably say the, the first Godfather. I need to see that. I actually I watched it yet. for the first time, I think two or three years ago, never watched it. And I watch it like once a month now. It's that good. The two first two, the two is very second one is very good too. The third one I couldn't get past the first twenty minutes, but um, the first Godfather movie is phenomenal. And just you got to watch it if you haven't watched it. Watch it. It's so good. I like I, I can't I, even describe. It's just so good. Uncultured queen over here. Haven't seen it. You have. It to. is on my it's so good. It is on my list to watch. It, it is on my list to watch. Either. I, I haven't seen either of your movies. Put that on the list. Yeah. <sighs> it's it revolutionized cinematography. The Matrix did. You know yeah, Matrix was pretty good. We should bring or back on culture. We should bring back on culture Quinn next time. All right, you know, done. Okay, ten movies and see if I've seen any of them. Okay, we'll do it. All right. Um, final question. Actually, you know what? This next question is going to be super easy. I have a feeling for both of you. So I, I have a. A back, a backup. Uh, so you're gonna get two more. What is your go-to karaoke song? Can't hold us. Or bye bye bye. JD. American Woman, the Lenny Kravitz version. Nice, nice. All right, and the last question, Quinn. Do you have a party trick? The worm. Okay. Yeah, I do JD, the worm. you do the worm. I, I, I quite well. I may add. I, I don't. I need to learn one. I don't. Okay. You turn water I have into a party wine. Joke. Uh, <laughs> that's that's. I'm keeping that reserved for my main man, Jesus Christ, over here. <laughs> So we're not gonna we're not gonna hear the party joke today. Oh, he froze. Uh oh. See, oh, it's all is. this. <laughs> oh, party joke. Party joke. Let's party hear joke. it. Yes. Want to hear the party joke? Yeah. Yes. All right. You want you want to hear a joke? I sure do. Yes. Me. Hey now. I, I've boom, heard boom, that joke. Boom. That's the joke. I'm the joke. I, I've heard that. Joke before. I've heard you tell that joke before. You've probably told that joke on the show before. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's. I I wouldn't be surprised if that if tonight was not the first time I've said that. You've definitely wouldn't said it on the show me. before. That's kind of like you know if you had one of those like dolls with the string that you pull and it says catchphrases <laughs> like that would be one of yours. You guys want one more question? Sure. Lay it on me. All right. This is a yeah. This is a good. I I like this question. How much money is enough? Ten million dollars. That's enough. Ten million dollars. All right. That's enough. Now, when we say enough, does that mean like? I mean, can we continue to replenish it to make sure that that number stays there, or like, is it just like uh, here's your amount and 
use it for the rest of your life. How, how it doesn't say. So let's say how much money is enough for you to be comfortable for the rest of your life? I mean, life's expensive. I, but I, I do like JD's answer in the context of if I just had like $10 million of float, like if that was like, you know, if that was my zero, I would feel mm -hmm. really good about that. You know, there's plenty of cushion there at that point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, with the way, you know, the economy and inflation are going right now, it's, you know, probably going to require that pretty soon to survive and get your basic needs met in America. So I'm going to, I'm going to steal JD's answer and say $10 million. Okay. Well, this has been another riveting. Around. Getting to know you thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Another arousing yeah. addition. Arousing. All right. Well, okay. we have, <laughs> we, we have a couple <laughs> A couple more segments to go, of course, something for your ears, which is mine. Uh, so uh, the, it's actually you know related to the last something for your ears that we did, because I told you that New Kids on the Block had re released a couple more hits, in the words of LFO. And uh, the whole album is out now, Still Kids. And I have to say, you know, I listened through it the other night. Production's phenomenal. There are definitely a lot of like sonic, like 80s callbacks, but like brought to a modern 2024 production update. And tell you what, you know, for a bunch of dudes in their 50s, like they still got it. Um, Jordan Knight in particular has a really, you know, impressive couple of vocal performances on this album. I would definitely check out the song Pop. And of course, a love like this as well. If you want to hear that classic falsetto. But yeah, really, I mean, the whole thing's phenomenal. It's a fun listen and more mature songwriting, too. And you can definitely even see that they took a couple risks, you know, and I'd say, you know, for the most part, they paid off. So, yes, yeah, still kids from New Kids on the Block. My first favorite band ever. Uh, it's my first that. concert. Yeah, it would have been my first concert if I wasn't two. I had to try to find, you know, find my brother, sister and dad on TV because, you know, I wasn't allowed to go because I was two. giant stadium. Mm -hmm. You were probably, was that the concert you were at? Giant Stadium? No, I went to see them at the Brendan Byrne Arena. Oh, wow. Which was what it was called before the IZOD Center. Mm -hmm. Is that yes. even open anymore? Is that still? No. Oh. Nope. No, it is not. Oh, it's Very sad. Yeah. That was my childhood, that place. I went to so many events there. We went to Extreme Rules 2014 there. That was the last, uh, or the second to last event before they took it down. I think the last event was a monster truck show, but I think uh, Extreme Rules was the second to last event yeah. ever. I remember that photo of Daniel Bryan celebrating and you could see our yes in the distance. Yes, yes. Uh, no, it was on video. It's on pay-per-view. Yeah, but also like the st I just remember the still image of that they put up the next day and you could see our yes up in the, up in the upper deck. In the I don't distance. remember the picture. I think I screenshotted the video. Oh, well, there was a picture. And you could see our yes. There was. Yes, they could. And Daniel Bryan was front and center, very naked with his arms raised. Yes. Because that's what they do in pro wrestling. They often wrestle nude or close to it. Mm. Close to it. Anyway, that's something for your ears. Um, JD, ready to get us feeling good? Yeah, I am. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There's an ant walking across my bed. This is this is an emergency. Hold on. Get it. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I flipped it onto the nightstand. Oh god. This oh god. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh geez. your aunt your where, aunt or an ant. No, like an <laughs> insect ant. Oh my god. This is terrible. <laughs> where did it go? Oh god. What the where once again, I, once again, folks, dealt with. I can't watch the video. Oh my God. This, this is honestly the, the best. Part where did it go? Episode. Literally, where did it go? Hello? Where did it go? <laughs> I don't see it. Where did it go? Okay. Hold on. All right. Hold on. All right let's whew, refocus. I'm making uh, the, the, the promo that was clip. Actually... The promo clip <laughs> is going to be that for this episode. That was the best part of this episode. Okay. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so um i somehow managed to f to flip the ant from my bed 
flip it in the air and it oh god it's back on the bed oh god oh jeez oh god how this thing can climb my god holy shit where did it go where is it this thing is determined there's not even any food in here why are you in here how did you why why are you here why do you exist where did you go oh god there it is i see it okay hold on it's on the bed lining it's now it's on the floor it's on the carpet (laughs) okay (laughs) oh god oh geez (laughs) all right i think i think he's been dealt with i don't know though you froze for a second and i'm like oh no the ant got my earbud fell out (laughs) well (laughs) cliffhanger what a cliffhanger i thought thought the ant got you for a second when you <sighs> oh my god. I'd like to make a request. I'd like to make a request. What's that? I like can I make a request? Yeah. Can we do two feeling goods next time? <laughs> I'm not really in the right head space now for feeling good. I think that segment I got apologize to the audience for like Dude, that was the best I felt all day. <laughs> when? Oh, I have good. a towel on my face because I've worked up a sweat trying to deal with this ant. That's, dude, I don't like. Okay, I don't like insects. Let's just put it that way, as you can clearly tell. Oh, then you would really that hate ant, what's going on down here in Nashville right now because the cicadas are. That ant was. It was determined. My God, I don't even know what's up here that he would like. You. Oh. <sighs> But yeah, the, you uh, wanted to be on the okay, show. Actually, that no, no, no. Honestly, no. Honestly, that's a fair point because when I sit outside out here, it literally takes two minutes, and the, and the mosquitoes start biting my. Lip. My mom said it was because oh, it's because you're so sweet. And I'm like, I hate that. <laughs> but mom, it might, be true. It might yeah. actually be true. Mm-hmm. They, they, the insects probably want to eat me. Mm, sweet and juicy. And, <laughs> Fine and dandy like sour candy. Can we move on? Can we move on, please? Well, well I was going to say, if you don't like insects, then uh, nice. you probably don't want to be in Nashville for the next month because the cicadas are making all kinds of whoopee up in the trees. They are knocking all kinds of boots. Uh, and you have two different versions of them, the 13-year kind and the 17-year kind, who have emerged from whatever depths of hell they live in You, the rest of the time, uh, at the same time, for the first time in more than 200 years. It is very loud outside everywhere. You just cicadas wow. banging each other everywhere, around every corner, over Ooh. Hill and Dale. Just making all kinds Jesus. of love. Passionate, hot, sweaty, southern cicada love. love. Southern mm. love. Mm-mm. 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 <clears throat> so that's guest feeling good with the Quinn. Because those cicadas. They're feeling good right now. <laughs> uh, thanks for filling in. You're welcome. <gasps> we were a team here. Do you understand? This is what we do. I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, that ant is gonna haunt me. Your 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 internet cuts out at the perfect moments. <laughs> yeah, it, it was just like I'm not gonna. <laughs> yep. Anyway, so well, we'll let you deal with your. Honestly, aunt. I bet the I bet the ants. No, it's fine. My internet. I think the ant destroyed the internet. I think. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's what he's happened. been chewing on your cords, and now he revealed himself. To yeah, you. I think that's the problem. Maybe yeah. the ant is Coach McQuakes. <laughs> he's an animorph. <laughs> I mean, not, not but he's he wasn't buff enough. I mean, <laughs> ants can lift like a a thousand times their weight, though, can't they? Or something right. like that. So it does it does make sense? It does make like sense because Coach McQuakes is the molten man and can lift about a thousand times his own weight. So says the legend. <laughs> Look, I mean, as you can see from my thirst traps, the man's workouts work. So I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I, I can. Back- yeah, Mama Rock's starting to comment on him. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Oh boy, and Mama Rock. Anyway, let's let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah, let's let's move on from that. Mama Rock <laughs> celebrated a birthday, didn't she? She did. She did a happy couple weeks ago. Rock. Yes, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yes, yes. Hey. Everybody's favorite Mama Rock turns another year younger. 
Yes. You know, within the Quinspin universe. But uh, yeah, so Coach McQuakes is that ant, and he's come to haunt you. And um, this has been the Quinn Spin. Two ends in Quinn, two ends in Spin. You can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and more also on the socials at Quinn Spin Official. Two ends in Quinn, two ends in Spin on Instagram and threads and the Quinn Spin on Facebook and Tic Tacs. UMC Nashville will bring you to most of our socials. UMCNashville.com will bring you to our central herb for all things independent music, creativity, community, and more. We've got a lot going on this summer. June 12th at the end in Nashville. I am actually a guest judge on behalf of UMC and the Quinspin for the Nashville Battle of the Bands. Uh, first round, Ooh. of course, put on by our friend Arias, who's been a multi-time guest here at the Quinspin. Going to be coming on again in the next couple of weeks to talk about the event. Uh, very exciting. Uh, and again, giving Nashville's live music scene the shot in the arm it needs. This is what we need to do. And speaking of giving Nashville's live music scene the, the shot in the arm it needs, Nash Live, we're planning our next event there. Follow at Nash Live Shows for the next experience and the information on said experience. And get your tickets for the Music Fest Conference August 1st and 2nd in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I am presenting Perfect Your Pitch which is my course that I designed on how to build authentic connections with your audience in the industry at large. I will be presenting that August 2nd, which is the Friday, 1.30 to 2.30 p.m., but make sure you say hi throughout and go to all the mm-hmm. things. Your ticket gets you in all of them. So, and you can buy a single-day pass as well as a multi-day pass, and student tickets are only $40. So yeah, go to musicfest.org for those, and I think that's pretty much everything I want to promote aside from Sounds of the Underground, Leather Pavilion, Steel Stacks, a little before Music Fest, June 21st. We've got eight acts across two stages, and it's going to be the first of many big things to come, I have a feeling. So make sure you stay tuned for information on that. It's getting close. At Gerard Longo 12, if you want to see those thirst traps as well that I mentioned, uh, which apparently a lot of people are a fan of. Scotty, JD, where can they find mm-hmm. you guys? Uh, Scotty Rock 77 on the old iGram and uh, the artist formerly known as Twitter. I and uh, you can, yeah, in that sounds like That sounds like some kind of like thing you do at the opt- optometrist. Oh, Instagram. And you could also catch me kicking uh, the Quinn's ass in miniature golf the weekend of August 23rd in Hershey, Pennsylvania. So, um, yeah, I'm come see that. that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to get trashed at Creed on your dime, sir. <laughs> I'm going to be I'm going to be crying tears of joy as I sing with arms wide open about seven seven IPAs deep. Anyway, you should, you should definitely make a shirt. I got trashed at Creed on Scotty's dime. <laughs> Maybe I will. I mean, I should make it before I play you a mini golf because I know I'm going to win. Okay, we'll see. JD, what about you? Where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at J-A-S-O-N-D-I-S-H-O-N-G. And then on X, you can flip it and reverse it. D-I-S-H-O-N-G-J-A-S-O-N. So you actually want their follows this And then time? follow me and then unfollow me immediately. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> no, I, I, was just, lo- yeah. I was a little... Follow amazed. me and then unfollow me immediately. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, and I, I would like internet, to... My internet's slowing down. I would also like to wish JD a belated happy birthday. Yes, JD's birthday. Um, Why, thank you. Yes. Why, thank you. The first thing did, I did, when, I did I got up, when I got up on my birthday, the first thing I did on my birthday uh, was get out of bed and threw my back out. So, nice. Happy birthday. Welcome to thank you. being old. My back is... When's been yeah. a round of applause? I can't believe you're applauding me throwing my back out. Welcome to the club. Been there, done that. That means that means you've twice a week at least. You've advanced Jesus into uh, a more mature sta- station of life. <sighs> we'll go with that, I guess. Mature. I don't know. Yeah, always on the sunny side. Look on the sunny side of life. Anyway, mm. Rebel Nine's all I've become. It's gonna take us out. Like it brought us in. Grab some muffins on your way out. <laughs>